In this video, you will learn how to make a key like this in Blender. Blender version 2.8 is being used while making this video. Let's start. Click this cube to select it, and press X and enter to delete it. Press Shift plus A keys on the keyboard and click Mesh, Plane. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Scale this plane down in the X axis by pressing S, X, 0.4 and enter. Scale it on Y axis by pressing S, Y, 1.25 and enter. Zoom it little bit with mouse wheel up. Press Tab key to enter edit mode. Make sure that vertex select tool is activated and click on this bottom left vertex to select it. Click on this move icon to activate moving hands. Now press and hold control key and drag this red arrow to the right one grid line left to Y axis. Now let's add some loop cuts. Press control plus R keys on keyboard. Move your mouse pointer to the top of the plane. When you see a yellow mark left click to confirm cut and right click to release. Again, press Ctrl plus R keys on keyboard and move your mouse pointer to the center right of the plane. When you see a yellow mark, scroll your mouse wheel up to increase number of cuts, left click to confirm cut and right click to release. Now come down here and expand this last operation panel and set number of cuts to 10. Click on viewport area to hide this. Now click this bottom center vertex to select it, press and hold the control key and drag this green arrow one grid line down. Press A key to select all. Click right mouse button and click on subdivide. Click this face select tool to activate it, press A key twice to deselect all. Zoom the view little bit and press K key on keyboard to activate knife tool. Place your knife 5 faces down from the top, let it snap to the corner and click to confirm. Snap the knife toe faces down and one face right and left click to confirm. When you are done, press enter key to release. The same way cut the faces like this with the help of knife tool. Now press and hold the shift key and select all of these outer faces like this. Now press X and click faces to delete them. Now press A key to select all, press 1 on the number pad for the front view, zoom the view, press E key on the keyboard to extrude and move your mouse up about one and half grid lines and left click to confirm. Place your pointer to the center of the object. Press Ctrl plus R keys to add loop cuts, scroll your mouse wheel up until you get 3 cuts, now left click to confirm cut and right click to release. Now press 7 on the number pad for the top view, add a loop cut here with Ctrl plus R keys and drag it near to this edge. Add another loop cut from another side and drag it near to this edge. Add another loop cut here and place it like this. While selecting this loop, press R, Z, minus 0.3 and enter to rotate this little bit. Again add another cut here from the other side. Press R, Z, 0.3 and enter to rotate this on the Z axis little bit. You can drag these arrows to adjust the placement of these selected edges. Add a loop cut here and place it all the way to the right. Add another loop cut from the other side and place it all the way to the left. Now zoom the view with mouse wheel, pen with shift plus middle mouse button and rotate with middle mouse button to focus bottom of the object like this. 
Make sure that Edge Select tool is activated. Now press and hold the Alt key and click on the center edge to select entire edge loop. Now scale it on Z axis by pressing S, Z, 1.4 and enter. Press and hold the Alt key and click on the center edge to select entire edge loop. Scale it down on Z axis by pressing S, Z, 0.3 and enter. Add a loop cut here and move near to the scaled edge, and do so from another side as well. Now press tab to exit edit mode. Now press 7 on the number pad for top view. Pan the view to the center. Now add a lattice by pressing shift plus A and clicking lattice. Press S key to scale lattice. Press Y key to restrict scaling on Y axis and scale it until the lattice little bit longer than the object, and click to confirm scaling. Enable moving arrows clicking here and you can adjust its position further. Rotate this lattice on Z axis by pressing R, Z, 3.26 and enter. Move this lattice to the left like this. Now click this object to select it. Come over here and click on this modifier icon, click add modifier and click on lattice button. Now click on this square icon and click lattice. Rotate the view something like this so that you can see the teeth of key clearly and click on lattice to select it. Press tab to enter edit mode. Now press and hold the shift key on the keyboard and click these four vertices to select them. Press S for scaling. Z to restrict scaling to Z axis, and move your mouse pointer up and down to make teeth part of key thinner and click to release. Press tab to exit edit mode. Click on key to select it, and click apply button here in the modifier section. Now select this lattice and delete it with X and enter. Again press 7 on the number pad for top view. Add another lattice by pressing shift plus A and lattice. Press S key to scale lattice, press Y key to restrict scaling on Y axis and scale it until the lattice little bit longer than the object. You can adjust its position little bit. Now click this object to select it. Come over here and click on this modifier icon, click add modifier and click on lattice button. Now click on this square icon and click lattice. Rotate the view something like this so that you can see the back part of key clearly and click on lattice to select it. Press tab to enter edit mode. Now press and hold the shift key on the keyboard and click these four vertices to select them. Press S for scaling, Z to restrict scaling to Z axis, and move your mouse pointer up and down to make top part of key thinner and click to release. Press tab to exit edit mode. Click on key to select it, and click apply button here in the modifier section. Now select this lattice and delete it with X and enter. Now click this object to select it. Come over here and click on this modifier icon, click add modifier and click on subdivision surface. Now set this render value to 3, and viewport value to 2. Right click on the key and click on smooth shading. Now you can see something like this. Press 7 on the number pad for the top view, grab this green arrow and move it down. Now add a circle by pressing shift plus A, mesh, circle. Come down here and set the vertices value down to 12, and press enter. Press tab to enter edit mode. Click on this little icon to activate Vertex Select tool. Make sure that all the vertices are selected, press E key to extrude, scale them down by pressing S, 0.9 and enter. Now click on this vertex to select it, press and hold the Shift key and click this individual vertex to add it to the selection. Press Shift plus A and click on cursor to the selection. Click on this pivot point drop down, and click on 3D cursor. Now press and hold Alt key on keyboard and click on inside edge area to select entire inner vertices. Press E to extrude, press S, 0.4 and enter to scale it down. 
Click on this pivot point drop down, and click on bounding box center. Press E to extrude, press S, 0.8 and enter to scale it down. Now rotate the view something like this and click this face select icon to activate it. Press A key to select all of the faces, and press 1 key on the number pad for the front view. Zoom the screen with mouse wheel up until you can see the grid lines wider. Press E key to extrude and move your mouse pointer one and half grid lines upwards and click to confirm. Rotate the view to see the top faces better. Now press and hold the Alt key and click on this edge area to select entire circle of the faces, now press Alt and Shift keys simultaneously and click on this inside edge to add entire face circle to the selection. Rotate the view and add bottom two face circles to the selection. After selecting these faces, press 1 on the number pad for the front view. Now press E for extrude, S for scaling, Z for restrict scaling on Z axis, 1.75 as scaling value and enter. Rotate and zoom the view to see the top part of the object better. Now press Ctrl plus R keys on the keyboard for loop cut, when you see a yellow mark, scroll your mouse wheel up until you get two cuts. Left click to confirm cut and right click to release. The same way add two cuts here on the top, here in the inside, here outside on the inner ring, to the top, and to inside. Now rotate the view upside down and repeat the same action like you did in another side. Now press 7 on the number pad for the top view. Zoom out a bit and press tab to exit edit mode. Come over here and click on this modifier icon, click add modifier and click on subdivision surface. Now set this render value to 3, and viewport value to 2. Now click on this object you created before and drag it up like this. Press 1 on the number pad for the front view and position it to the center of the height of another object. Click this ring to select it, click right mouse button and click on shading smooth. Now zoom, pan and rotate the view to see what we have so far. Let's add a floor. Press shift plus A, mesh and plane. Press 1 on the number pad for the front view and drag this arrow to move this plane just below the key like this. Rotate the view little bit and scale this plane up by pressing S, 10 and enter. Now press 0 on number pad for camera view. Zoom it little bit, press N key to open properties panel, click on view tab, and check the lock camera to view box and press N key again to hide properties panel. Now you can zoom, pan and rotate while looking through the camera. Position your key something like this. Press Z key on the keyboard and click on look dev. Let's add some material. Click on this metallic part of the key to select it, come down here and click on this material icon, click on new button, click on this base color. Change this base color to hex value, E, 7, C, 1, B, C. Set this metallic value to 1. and change this roughness value to 0.075 and press enter. Now click this rubber part of the key to select it, go to the material section and click on new button. Click on this base color and drag this point all the way down to make it black. Now click on the floor to select it, you can also select it clicking this plane 001 here in the outliner section. Go to the material icon and click on new button. Change this base color to hex value, 0, 0, E, 0, E, 7, and press enter. Now click on this world button, 
click this little circle next to color, and click magic texture, set this strength value to 0.1 and press enter. Now go to this render section and change the CV to cycles. Go up to the outliner section and select the light. Come down here and click this object data icon, set X location to 3 meters, Y location to minus 3 meters and Z location to 6 meters. Click on this light icon down here, and set size to 4.5 meters. Now press Z key on the keyboard and click rendered. You can zoom, pan and rotate the view to set light reflection better. When you are done, Click on this layer icon, scroll this panel to the bottom and check denoising. And finally go to the render menu and click render image. Rendering process will be started and it may take few minutes to render depending upon your computer configuration. When rendering is completed, you can save this image. Click on this image menu, click on save, choose the directory, Name the image and click on save image button. You can download this blend file from the link in the description. And this was a short tutorial about making a key in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and leave a comment.